I want to find out how much the world has moved on and assess the strength of feeling 30 years on. I just want your opinion on something. Do you know what that is? No, it's rubbish though. Why is it rubbish though? Would people be willing today to have a discussion with me about the content of the book? This book, no, I've never heard of it. Tell me what you think about this sentence. Oh, no, you don't want it, no problem. No problem. Oh, it's Hassel Man Rushdie. It is? Is that the satanic verses? It is. Do you know mm. it? Yeah, I've got a long history with that. I got arrested on them riots. No way! So were you at the demo here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about the book burning? Did you see that? I was here. Who are you? Have you read it? I've read it. Where are you from? Where am I from? So I'm from Huddersfield. Right. I live in London. Right. I hope you're holding the Satanic verses. You think I shouldn't be holding it? I'm not, no comment. You so don't... what you meant when you said where you're from, you meant are you Muslim, didn't you? That's what you meant. Yeah. Yeah. So would it make a difference if I was Muslim? I mean, I am Muslim, but you think as a Muslim, I shouldn't be holding the book? No, no, no. Let me see what the... <laughs> will you read this? Yeah, yeah. And will you tell me what you think? Yeah, yeah, I will. You're not going to get angry? No, no. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, How we many go. wives, 12 and one lady, old lady, long dead? How many whores behind the curtain, 12 again? Does that mean anything to you? Yeah, he's a devil worshipper. Devil worshipper. The curtain is the curtain on the day of judgment that he's lifted yeah. when he go to thing here. And Think the it. whores are the, the, the wives, what? wives the Muslims is up, up in heaven. That makes sense. Is that what he's talking about? Yeah. Come and talk to me. Why are you running off? <laughs> you need educated brother. I need edu educated Come and brother. Talk to educate me then. The author educated said it's a brother. critique of religion. That's right. useful. Here we go. Oh! oh no on, way! Man. Come on then! Come on then! Come on then! You fucking bastard! Oh, Come on damn. then! Okay, In the book! Can I have my book back? Fuck you! Bloody hell! Yeah. Yeah. No, I've seen the book, no! Come on, then! What the? Fuck you! I'm gonna burn this book! You're gonna burn this book! Don't film it! Fuck off, it's about a prophet! Don't fuck yourself, go fuck you! Whoa! 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 Whoa!
shut down the discussion. That's it. Can't have a conversation. Not capable. Reaction. That's all it was. I'm just properly pissed off. That's very sad. Wow, so um, my man Mobin Azhar from BBC Asian Network, big shout out to him. I've got to rate him for this. He's a very, very brave man going into Bradford and um, talking about the satanic verses is 30 years on. And unfortunately, it seems like the attitudes within the Muslim community have not really changed. That uncle, all right, this guy who in the beginning looked like a cuddly uncle, mate, you know, like a nice little Asian uncle. And then by the end of it, come on in, come on in. What are you gonna do, mate? What are you gonna do? He he went from uncle to football hooligan within the <laughs> five seconds. Jesus Christ, is he part of the Millwall firm? I think even they wouldn't have him. He's a bit too aggressive, man. But this is uh, fr this is really bad. I know it, we can laugh at it, whatever. But this is terrible. I, I want to talk about this other guy, this rude boy. Yeah, this rude boy. This, this for me, I don't mean to be harsh on the guy, but I'm going to be open because he clearly doesn't care. I mean, he's very open in giving his opinion. And he's like, yeah, you put my name there and you put my name there. BBC Media, yeah? So BBC Media, yeah? Okay, cool. This man, this Islamic geezer, all right, he's got that hat on, you know, the street, cool, American, whatever kind of hat, the the gangster kind of hat. At the same time, he's, he's wearing the thobe, the Arabian sort of one piece kind of thing going on there. So this for me, I don't mean to be deep in the guy, but he kind of epitomizes the sort of street Muslim kind of mentality in it. Like when you spoke to him, when when Mobin spoke to him, the guy is like, have you even read the book? Do, have you, do you even know the, who the guy is? No, I don't in it, but I don't have to in it. Okay, so I all I know in it, I can rip it up in it. Like, what are you going to do about it? That kind of street gangster kind of mentality. This guy's confused. He's wearing Arabian clothes, American hat, yet the guy's British Pakistani. He doesn't make sense. The whole thing doesn't make sense. He then goes, in a Muslim ghetto, bruv. You come to a Muslim area. What do you mean Muslim area? Last time I checked, bruv, this was Great Britain. This was the UK. There ain't no Muslim area. You know all these like right-wing media outlets who say they are Muslim ghettos and no-go zones and they exaggerate these things, right? And they do exaggerate these things. You people, when you say this kind of crap, you idiots, you are literally giving them tomorrow's headline. That waste man here, that, that, that geezer, Abdullah, whatever his name is, that BBC media, you are literally the stereotype that they are looking for. Well done, mate, you've provided it. And that uncle who went completely animalistic, poor Mobin, he's just reading book. You, if you don't like the book, don't read it. Walk away. He's like, I've got a history with this book. We're going to have a future as well with it, innit? got history with the book if you don't like the book bro walk away walk away son it ain't that hard mate I'm sure you can do it mate what's going on oh we've got to run away and burn the book in the oh i've got to find a match oh, okay oh, let me burn a cigarette this is honestly embarrassing it's embarrassing but at the same time um it's very worrying and um i don't know what to say <laughs> it's <just> so <laughs> Oh my god, I love the reaction of uh, that Muslim uncle. Honestly, I honestly thought that was, um, it's like out of a drama, right? It's like out of one of those American TV shows that exaggerate these sort of things. They have a very sort of caricature version of the Middle East. Well, uh, he exists. Come on, then. What are you going to do, mate? Go on, you schleg. <sighs> What's the documentary in BBC player? It's very good. Mobin, big shout out to you, man. You got some serious balls.